All right, so we are going to be making a wall tapestry. And so what we're gonna do is create our own loom out of cardboard and we're gonna put an upper beam and a lower beam. So that's what this is right here. So you're gonna take some hot glue or you can use glue. If you use glue, you're gonna to have to let it sit for a little bit. And so that was the bell, but don't worry about that. Okay, so you're gonna let it sit um, if you are going to be using regular glue, this is hot glue, um, just to make it a little bit faster for my uh, students that are here. And so there is my loom, upper beam and lower beam. It's ready to go. Um, after you're done with that, you are going to be wrapping your loom uh, with at least 12 to 30 times using a string, yarn, twine, or fishing line something that you can hold all the stuff together. So what you have to do is you have to flip the loom over, tie a knot in the back, and then you have to rotate it um, until you have at least 12. So I think I used 20 but you can use up to 30 uh, wraps. That would totally be your choice. I'm using yarn, um, but like I said, you can use twine, you can use rope, you can use anything um, that you have at home. Um, so I'm just about finished wrapping, and what you do when you're done wrapping is you just tie it, and then you I'm just counting to make sure I have enough. We have to keep it even. So I'm gonna tie it on the back in order to make sure that it stays. So you're gonna make a heddle. Heddle is something that you put um, inside to make it so that it um, it is even. But I wanna make sure that you tie it in the back. So I'm showing you that first. And then you're gonna use a heddle. The heddle is going to be about the same length as the upper and lower beams. Okay, so you're going to put the heddle through and you're gonna weave it through. So it's gonna go above and below and above and below and below, above and below all the way through until the end. Okay, great. So after you're done with that, you can start weaving and you're going to be using a few things for the weaving. So you're gonna to begin to whift with using a shuttle or a needle or whatever you have. Um, so I have these little needles that I made out of wood, um, but you can use just about anything that stays still. You can use cardboard and just cut it. It's your choice. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of thread it through so you can make a little hole if you'd like to. And um, because the petal is there, you, you can go ahead and just put it uh, right through uh, when you're going right to left. And then when you're going left to right, you're going to have to weave it through or um, so you can see what that looks like. So um, you have to make sure you do the opposite of whatever you did um, when you went the other direction so the heddle is there for you to uh, make sure everything is level so it's going to be woven through and I'm using my other hand to make sure that it's going in and out um, and it will and should go the opposite like the one string is going to go behind and then the other string is going to come forward when you push it down and it, it's hard to um, use the heddle when you, you did it in that direction but when you go back in this direction 
it's a lot easier. So that's when I would use the this part. So there you go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep weaving it all the way until you get to the very top, and then we'll take it off when you get to that point. Um, there's also another way that you could do this is you can go and do some loops. This looks really neat. So if you want to um, add a little bit of flair to it, you can go ahead and just take the needle or take um, your object and go in between the um, sets of two. You could even do like two or four or even three. Just keep it even all the way through. So, so I'm going to keep going through and remember when you go right to left that's when you can use that one technique where you just bring it all the way through. So this is yarn that I'm using. Uh, you'll see in my finished piece I'm using um, lots of different things like fabric that was torn. Um, I'm using different types of products that were found in the classroom. You guys can use feathers, you can use beads, you can use just about anything for this project. It's your choice. So you are going to Keep repeating with fabric materials of your choice. You can use plastic strings, um, plastic bags, whatever you want. So I have lots of different things that I have here. Um, I did put a feather in it at one point and then I took it out, but you can, you can use just about anything that you find. Um, repurposing things in order to make a wall hanging would be totally awesome. This is going to end up being a tapestry that you put on your wall. So you can uh, add anything that you want. The possibilities are endless for this. And you're going to fill the um, loom until you are done and ready to take it off. So the way that you take it off, you can just cut the back. And then you're going to tie the string, the strings together on the bottom and then you're going to tie the string um, to it like a stick of some sort, something that's rigid on the top so it doesn't fold in if you're trying to hang it on a wall. So this is um, the stick that I have. I'll show you the stick in a second and I will begin tying it. So you can just tie two or four strings together. It's your choice. So I'm putting the stick through. I probably should have woven the stick through that might have been a little bit easier and did one um, one uh, set at a time and I could have cut it one set at a time and I just cut the back and it still worked. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you tie the top. So I'm trying to show you this here um, by keeping it still together. So I'm going to tie just tie in a simple knot. Oh, this one was together, so I had to cut it off. You'll see better on the next one. So I'm just tying it. I have to tie it uh, two times. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing it once, and then I will do it again. So tie the objects to a, um, a long stick or something that's rigid. So you can use a stick that you find outside, you can use a pencil, you can use an old paintbrush, you can use anything that's pretty much flat. Okay, so now I'm tying it together on top. I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end. Now for the bottom, 
you're just going to tie two, four, or four strings together. Similar to what I'm doing up here, but it, you don't need another bar unless you want to put another bar. It's your choice. So the bottom, I'm just showing you what I would do for the bottom. I'm going to take two and two strings and then tie. So I'm tying four strings together at once. But you should really make sure that you do it two or three times when you're knotting it. So I did it once and um, I'm doing everything once and then I'll do another one. Um, another knot again when um, I'm done with all the other knots. So there's two and then I'll keep going down. So when you're done you can place on a wall when you're complete. So I have a little nail on the wall that I'm putting my tapestry on and when I bring it back I can cut off those ends if I want to. I think I'm just gonna tuck them in and then I have to also um, cut some strings to make it look a little nicer. So I will do that. So there's my end product. Uh, we are going to be putting these up in the hallway uh, when we're at school but at home. Those of you at home can go ahead and just put it up. I can't wait to see what you come up with. The possibilities for this project are endless. Have a great week. Bye.